how AI and 3D are the two major technologies in 2024 that is uh, driving the innovation in fashion industry. And it is highly important I anyone who belongs to fashion industry to understand these technologies and to experiment with these technologies. Hi, my name is Vivek. I am the founder of Learn 3D Fashion Platform. I have taught 2,800 plus students from 10 plus countries. And my major focus is making people understand how technology is changing the fashion industry and to adopt those technologies. So in this first segment, let's try to understand how AI technology is changing the future of fashion, right? Uh, and with some examples also. So there are majorly like two segmentation if I'll talk about. One is this LLM models, large language learning models, which ChatGPT is kind of use, right? In which uh, you ask them some questions, you can upload a PDF, you can get a summary. Right. And you can also do data analytic research and all these things. So that's the first part. Second is uh, you can use text to uh, image uh, models, right, in which it's like Delhi or Mid Journey or Stability. So there are multiple tools. So what we will try to do is we'll try to combine these two tools together. OK, and that's what I think that uh, the use of AI tool is OK. So the first thing is uh, like how to use the LLM model for better doing the research work. Second is how to use this text to image uh, generation for creating the mood boards, understanding what kind of a design outcome it can have, right? And this is amazingly good workflow. So let's start the workflow. First, what we are going to do is we are going to take uh, a simple report from WGSN 2024 report of consumer trends, right? And let's, and look, AI doesn't mean that you are not going to read the document, okay? You need to go through and you need to read the document. It's just that once you have gone through the document, once you have read the document, the next step is that you come and you start interacting with that document in terms of chat GPT or by using Claude, right? Then that is going to be way much more efficient. So we are going to use Claude for the time being. Uh, you can use ChatGPT. I have realized that Claude is better in terms of summarizing the PDFs. So let's use Claude. Let's upload our document and let's ask a summary of the PDF. Okay. Uh, now you can understand with that summary, it has given you some of the trends and consumer profiles, which is so good. Now you can correlate it with what you have gone through in the document, right? And you can see, okay, is it correct? Is it better? Now you can ask more questions. So now you can take this understanding and you can take it to the mid journey. If you don't know what mid journey is, mid journey is a simple uh, from text to image uh, like tool, uh, AI tool, right? And mid journey produces some of the very amazingly realistic uh, images. Okay, so some of the examples I'm going to show you. Just look at these images. These images are completely generated with AI with very simple prompts and it looks amazingly good. Each and every component that you see in this image, it is customizable, right? So you can even change the background. I have shown this in my, I have added, uh, I have added this AI thing in my course. This, the reason is the same, right? Because now you have to look AI and 3D with like in respect to each other. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense. Okay. So now you can use, you can control the background. You can control the colors. You can control the models. You can control each and every part about it, right? You can control the chair. So it is amazingly good. Now you can take these prompts. You can put those prompts into uh, mid journey and you can get some really nice images out. So what it is doing is what you are trying to do right now here is that you are doing the research work with the help of an AI. Then you are trying to generate images with the help of AI, right? And you are giving your research a visual texture right now you understand okay this is the visuals i want you can keep controlling it you can you can create a really nice mood board and you can control things in a way much more better way so that you can understand how your designs are going to look right now 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 here the 3d part comes in. so this is all the research and all the mood board and all the design part of things right now that design had to be producible also right so now 3d comes into the picture so what 3D is helping uh, companies, brands, businesses, manufacturing, export houses is to be more efficient in producing, right? So AI, you are going to do the research work. You are going to do everything related to in terms of understanding the design, understanding how, like what are the designs that you like, 
right? Uh, getting the final picture of your design. And then the 3D part is going to come to execute that design. So now you're going to create your designs in 3D. You are going to communicate those designs with the export houses, with the buying houses, with manufacturers, with all the party associated in the supply chain, right? And then you're going to produce those designs. So 3D is helping you in getting your designs into a producible state, right? And just reducing the lead time, reducing the producibility time on top of it. So by combining these two technologies, if you want to understand more about how 3D is impacting the fashion industry and all, I have a separate video, you can go and can check it out. I have a whole course about it, right? So that's not a problem. Uh, but understanding how these two things come together, that is so important, right? So 3D, the producibility side, uh, a, uh, the AI part is the visualization part of the research and visualization part of the side, right? And when these two things combine together, I can't tell you how efficient it's going to make the fashion industry. Right now, I'm working with brands, I'm working with students, I'm working with colleges to get this idea into their head that, okay, these two technologies are super important and you need to execute those. Uh, you need to help your students understand you need to help your employees understand these two technologies and adopt as quick as you can. Okay, so these are, I think, uh, the overall picture about how 3D and AI is changing the fashion uh, industry. So you also need to do both the things. You also need to uh, understand it and you also need to start implementing these technologies into your workflow and, and you will see like how efficient you are becoming as it goes, and by the way, these two technologies are very new to fashion industry, specifically the AI one. So as it go forward, you know, right, technology improves at a very fast rate. So it's also going to happen, like, it's going to happen the same way, right? So uh, this was a very quick glimpse into it. I'm going to make some more detailed videos, but right now I wanted to give you an overflow, over uh, all look into how these two technologies are going hand on hand with each other. All right, great guys. So this was uh, me uh, explaining some of the basic uh, technology tools that are changing the fashion industry. We'll see in the next video if I get something interesting and maybe I want to talk about more tools of AI and 3D and you can help you understand better. Take care, enjoy life and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.